Hello, it's David Holmberg, President and CEO of Highmark Health, and it only looks like I'm coming to you from my living room. This cozy spot is in the Caring Place in downtown Pittsburgh, which is celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. During National Volunteer Week, I want to take a moment to thank all of our Caring Place volunteers, past and present, across all four of our Caring Place locations in Western and Central Pennsylvania. 25 years ago, we opened the Caring Place as a sanctuary and safe space in which grieving children, teens, and adults could receive encouragement, peer support, and links to critical resources following the loss of a loved one without cost to the families. Thanks to the volunteers like you, I'm proud to say that we continue to serve that mission in remarkable ways. Since the first Caring Place opened, We've been honored to have more than 2,800 people volunteer to help grieving kids and families. People from all ages and backgrounds have opened their hearts to children and families during a complicated time in their lives. Collectively, our Caring Place volunteers have invested more than 500,000 total hours of their time. Our volunteers have helped the Caring Place serve more than 30,000 kids and adults just in grief support groups alone and well over 100,000 total when you consider those help through telephone support, referrals, and community and school support, among other initiatives. We hear from Caring Place volunteers all the time about what a privilege it is for them to work with the kids and families. But the families see the sacrifice that the volunteers are making, and they are always so grateful for the time, the effort, and the emotional connection that you offer. I consider it a privilege to get to know some of the kids and families who come through these doors and volunteers like you. Thank you for your compassion, your empathy, and your time. And happy 25th anniversary to The Caring Place. Because of you, kids and adults have a safe haven to process their grief and live their best lives.